Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbigly. I'm once again playing the game Rogue Legacy. Uh, last episode, I did not have very good luck. I died a whole bunch of times, and I did not beat the boss once more. Um, and uh, yeah, I had some of the quickest worst runs as a Lich in my life. So we're going to try again here. I'm Lady Elisa the Lich Queen, and uh, we're going to go through the castle, and this time, maybe we'll beat the boss. Um, I feel like, I feel kind of bad, because this series, uh, isn't much of a, much in way of story, uh, anything like that. Holy crap, but, oh my god. Um, it's mostly just a rage series at this point, which is, I mean, I know I have like a thousand of those going, so I'm very sorry if it's, uh, if it's boring to any of you. It's really just been a grind. Like, I've just been leveling up. Uh, every episode and not really doing as much as I could be uh, I mean I don't know uh, leave me a comment below let me know if you guys would rather have me uh, maybe level up off screen and do, do grinding that way um, and then save the boss fights for for just like uh, quick quick runs sort of like I do with uh, traditional RPGs um, otherwise uh, I'll keep doing it the way that I have been doing it where you guys get to see me sort of rage out a bit and uh, suck at this a lot and uh, <laughs> you know just keep things the way they've been so um, let me know because I do a lot to, uh, to to sort of just like pander to your needs or your desires um, by the way you might have noticed there that uh, one of the spike balls killed itself which is awesome when that happens um, they sometimes just once they've had a certain I think they have durability or something once they've bounced around enough sometimes they'll just explode and they'll give you um, you know gold or points or whatever sweet we got a journal entry and we got some uh, nice chandelier chicken which is good um, Journal entry number eight. From the number of dead adventures I've passed in these halls, I've come to the following conclusions. One, many did not take enough provisions with them. I assume many died of hunger. I myself am running low and will have to find more supplies. Two, many are missing clothes, which explains the pant-wearing zombies. Three, no one has made it as far as I since I haven't passed any corpses in over an hour. So, the journal writing person is, uh, is having a pretty decent run. Um, unlike my runs in the game where I, I'm getting killed constantly. So um, if we go to the left here, we'll actually be above this terrible flame trap that I didn't want to face before. Um, ah, cool, a jukebox. We could put it on Pistol Shrimp or a different song. Pistol Shrimp. Oh, yeah. Ah, Charite, right. get away from me. So our this is a, a decent run so far. I mean, I took that damage in the beginning, which was stupid. Uh, but so far, I've been able to uh, increase my Lich Queen's life quite a bit, um, which is good. Um, and we haven't hit the maximum threshold for increasing it quite yet. So, so, um, so far, so decent. Uh, isn't that jamming tune? We got a lot of gold, too. I just noticed it's, it's good, 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 good. And still uh, working up. Oh, that was really close, Grey Knight. Mr. Grey Knight. And here's the pants wearing zombie. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, the easiest damn enemy in the game freaking hit me in the face. Good thing that the game is forgiving and is giving me tons of chicken right now, which is great. We got a knight sword blueprint. Good. We need a better sword. We really, really do. Sweet. And we're, you know what? We're pretty, uh, pretty buff at the moment as far as uh, life goes and... Uh, gold and everything. We should go fight Kadir right away. That's great. That's under five minutes. I'm able to go fight the boss here for you guys. Hopefully we can freaking beat the gatekeeper this time and we'll see what happens. Um... Oh, yeah. Yes, and Pinwheel. Pinwheel is our friend uh, because Pinwheel attack is predictable. Missing him is not a good thing, though. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, pro skills all the way. Oh, shit. He does so much damage with those. It sucks. Pinwheel's good. Pinwheel's good. Pinwheel is really good. So, um... Oh, my God, I always do that. And it sucks. Um, there is an ability which is really cool that increases your vulnerability time. Man, if I was any other class right now, I would be doing more damage a hit. Not any other class, I mean. But, oh, man... Uh, it, would, it would definitely be helping me a lot here. Shit. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, come on, come on. Drop down, drop down. 
fudge nugget shit ass every time I get so damn close uh, learning ah, I just punched my mic sorry guys if you hear a big like the mic uh, learning enemy tells is in integral to surviving the castle no shit lady Lisa yeah ass all right let's pick a oh my god that is a huge freaking sh Hokage um, Sir Lee the Hokage uh, tunnel vision man that sucks I hate tunnel vision vision dwarfism barbarian queen uh, let's see if we can get away with uh, being Lady Stephanie the second um, this time hopefully all right let's uh, let's increase our equipment carry so that we can carry more and that way we can probably get the new sword I'm hoping yes 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 we can damage up four gotta love it oh yeah and that's all we can afford but it's good we got a new sword now we got a new sword and we can go kick the crap out of Kadir Kadir Kidder Kidder Kadir Kadir still never gonna get that name right um, if someone wants to leave a a uh, phonetic pronunciation of it in the comments below that would be excellent for me because I'm an idiot and I don't know what it is ah <laughs> that dude just totally walked into those spikes that was amazing um, when enemies walk into the traps and they kill themselves, it is the best thing in the world. Because uh, clearly, it doesn't do anything bad for us. It does something great for us. Aha! One hit. Oh my god, I'm an idiot! <laughs> I was about to boast that that was a wonderful one hit kill. And instead, the damn thingy got me. God damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm doing badly. I'm doing badly. I'm doing bad things. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Anyway. Okay, so... Ah! Uh, let's kill this guy first. I hate you, little stupid scout. Aha! And now we will fight... Oh, piss! This is uh, not a great run, fortunately. Um, even though it's not... <laughs> it's not something I like doing, having to rely on. The, bar the Barbarian class does have that really awesome buffer in the sense that its uh, life is just so high, its defense is high, I take a lot less damage than the other classes, um, so I am able to absorb a couple hits at least. Um, hopefully I'll get some Vampiric uh, powers soon, and I'll be able to uh, utilize those as well. Now see here, here's where Dwarfism is amazing. Look at these tiny little thingies, and I got a chicken, and I got a fairy chest, just because I'm a super tiny person. Um, haste Rune. <laughs> for the helm, which is excellent. Um, man, this is great. So this is a, an okay run so far. Not my favorite uh, start to a run, but, uh, you know, last run didn't start great either, and we, we did almost beat the boss. So we'll, we'll go this way, we'll slash up a zombie boy, maybe get some more health? No? Okay. And we'll fight a Doombus here. Boom! Okay. Not not so bad, not too shabby so far. Um, the enemies are cooperating in their death, and I am crap. I'm in the wrong section of the map now. All right, so let's look at our map quick. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go down into the left and then down more. Uh, so we'll do that first, and that way we don't we shouldn't backtrack all the way to the beginning. That's just silly talk. Um, this way we can find out if there's anything cool over here. Um, we really just want to, I, I honestly just want to find the boss really quickly and then fight him and kick the crap out of all these guys. Man, I'm doing all right here. Bam. Tons of enemy death. This is a massacre. It's great. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yay, gold for everybody and by everybody. I mean me. To buy new shoes and pants. Oh! oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so that wasn't as great. But we're doing okay. We're doing good things. We're rocking in the free world. Oh. Keep on rocking in the... F okay, we can't sing that too much. That's copyrighted. Ah! Oh man. Oh, okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Good. And it doesn't look like there's anything down here except a stupid skeleton. You know what, skeleton? You're pathetic. Bam, bam. Got us some gold, though, which is good. And a chicken! So that actually wasn't a waste of a room after all. Um, we are on an epic quest to win the day. I'm not even singing along with the music. I just sound like an idiot. 
Ha ha. Suspicious candle in the middle. Oh man, and then this one leads down to the darkness. Uh, Alright, so now we're gonna loop back again. And then we're gonna go up and to the left this time. Oh, that frustrates me when I, I think I'm going the right way and I'm not. Because of stupid map layouts. Um, it is so awesome, though, that everything in this game is is randomly slash procedurally generated. I guess it's not really procedurally generated. It's more just randomly generated. Or, no, it is procedurally generated. What? Don't listen to me. I'm an idiot. All right. Journal entry number nine. The door to the throne room is driving me mad. Beyond it lies the king's salvation and my reward, but it stands silent in the middle of the castle foyer, taunting me. I've tried pushing it, kicking it, yelling, open sesame, but nothing works. There are icons emblazoned onto the door, and one of them looks like the beast I avoided deeper in the castle. Perhaps there is some sort of correlation. Um, that is correct. I need to defeat all the bosses, and their icons will light up on the door, which will then allow me to go to the final boss, who will probably kick my ass for about 20 episodes straight. So so strap in, get ready for a really long uh, series, because uh, this one is going to be crazy bonkers. Um, yay, more gold, but another dead end. Damn it. Meh, meh, meh. Okay. Just bopping her head off of things. Bopping and bopping away. Okay, so where the hell do I go? Okay, I can go up and to the left again. We're just going to make this an ongoing theme until we find the damn boss. Holy Moses Jesus. Nah! And these flame turrets are, are nasty business. Yes! And we got two great chests. Blueprints. Blueprints. Out the booty. Out the booty. And monies. Tons of monies. Um, so do we want to get... Uh, crazy and go try to find more gold first? Sure. Just one dude to fight? Yeah, I can do that. Bam. And then we get more gold and chicken, which we don't need the chicken, but that's okay. That was okay. That was okay. Look at all the gold we got. We are gold-tastic. And then fight a Charite. You're weak and stupid, and I can take your monies. Ooh, and I can go under here. And there's not really anything to do here except fight a Doombus, which isn't bad. And fight him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anytime that you have an opportunity to uh, mess about a little bit and get some gold, some extra gold or some extra chicken or something like that, always take that opportunity because it is really great. And I have the shock room, uh, which is a really great uh, spell to use against the uh, Kajir because it just sits there and does that. Isn't that great? That is grand. Oh, oh pinwheel time. Oh, shit, I got greedy. I was trying to hit him in the butt. I mean, like the under eye. I guess that's not really a butt. But, oh, yeah, he's going to pinwheel the crap out of me, which is fine. And now we're out of mana for our chakram, though. Uh, but that's okay, because it looks like he's pick keeping the pinwheel going, which means we totally have a shot at this, damn it. Okay, no, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, we got this. Just don't stop. Yeah, 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 oh yeah, okay, yes. Even though that's like the fifth time I've beaten him in my lifetime, I'm so happy. Oh god, it's only like, what, eight freaking parts into the damn game? We got some HP stat increases and max weight load increases. Yeah, everybody feel good about yourselves, and by everyone I mean me. Mm, I feel awesome. See, and here we go, this is what I was just talking about. So the door lit up, the eyeball icon, I kicked your ass, Kadir. Yeah, suck it. Suck it and like it. Let's go over here. <laughs> uh, uh, this should lead me to the uh, next section of the castle. Yep, the forest of doom and death and the uh, forest of Azkaban. I don't know what it's uh, the pronunciation of that word is. I'm going to say Azkaban like Harry Potter. Um, oh my god, you have no idea how satisfied I feel right now. You guys are probably all like, this is wonderful. This is good because now we can see some progress in the goddamn game because you suck at it. And I'm like, I don't even care that you think I suck at it because I know I suck at it, but you know what? It, it's cool because I'm I'm going to be happy about this. Ah, yeah, eat the Chaininator, or whatever the hell your name is. I don't even care. Chain Tour. Chain Tours. Drop those stupid freaking spinny death spike balls, um, which is fine. It's fine that they drop those as long as they don't come in at an angle that sucks too much butts. Oh, man, I am... Mm, super satisfied with life at the moment. And we're, we already found the boss door for the second boss, who uh, will probably kick our ass if we try to go in right now, but uh, why not? Silver chestplate also. Um, give me some more chicken. 
Oh, damn. Okay. That was a bad uh, spawn right away. Um, so. Oh! Man, look at this. All this craziness. Uh, good thing I'm a super pro expert MLG uh, Rogue Legacy player. Yeah! Um, the craziest part is there are those people who can totally do that. They, uh, they're just really freaking good at these types of games. And they do speed runs and they just wreck these games. And that's cool. That's cool that they do that. Uh, nothing against those people. I just do not have the talent to ever do those things. So I really, I actually do look up to a lot of those players, those Let's Players and those, uh, Twitch streamers, etc. Um, good for you guys. You're awesome. Keep on rocking in the free world. Again! Um, haha! -ha. I'm not doing too bad myself at the moment, though. I'm, I'm really proud with my progress this episode, especially. Um, I'm beating up a lot of higher level enemies. Oh, uh, that, that enemy is called Plinky. That's sad. I have a cat. One of my cat's names is Plinko, and we call him Plinky as his nickname. It makes me think that I'm killing him with a sword in a medieval castle as Mr. Bones tosses bones. Die, Plinky! Oh, I don't want to kill Plinky. Oh, he's a little baby cat. He's the orange one that runs around in the background, for those of you who notice my cats running around in my videos all the time. So we do have the option. Look at, man, 4,000 gold. That's insane. Oh, we don't want to be in there. Um... <laughs> We have the option of pursuing the boss, or we could... Where are we on time? We should probably go fight the boss uh, and, and end the episode. Um, if we lose, we might not. We might beat the boss. Who knows? I'm I'm feeling pretty, uh, pretty good at the moment. So uh, the boss is Alexander the Forgotten, who's a big skull who shoots giant fire at me. Oh, my God, shit. And that was a bad start to the boss fight. Already... Oh, God, don't run into me, dick face. And he shoots out the little baby skulls, but then those giant fireballs of doom. Oh, God. There's so many freaking skull babies. Um, this is a, a boss fight where the lich is... Oh, my God. Shit. Uh, the lich is actually really good to have because um, you can kill those furies, and the furies will uh, give you your, X, your HP back as long as you haven't maxed out your life points. Um, yeah, this is going to be a hard one to win at our level. Uh, with our equipment. So let's just try to farm gold from everything we can at the moment. Oh shit. Oh shit, balls. We're gonna die. We're gonna die real. We're gonna die real soon. Oh, oh there's too many of them. Fudge. Oh. Yeah, um, also, uh, if you, you don't even need to be a lich. If you have any form of vampirism, ah, uh, god damn it, like a rune or a weapon that does it, uh, this is, this is the time to use it, uh, because you will be able to stay alive for a decent amount of time, especially if you do high damage. Uh, yeah, we have done freaking nothing. We're gonna die! Oh, goodbye! Okay, we're dead. <laughs> oh, man. Lady Stephanie, you did me well, though. Lady Stephanie 2 has been slain by a fury. Bury me with my money. Look at that giant eyeball on the screen there. That is so funny. Because I killed you, Kadir, right in your face. Or your eye face. Your eyeball face. So I'm a legendary barbarian queen. Um, let's pick our next descendant, buy a couple pieces of crap, and then we can go. Uh, da, 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 da. Nearsighted, everything is blurry. Lich King. Um, Endomorph and Savant. Oh, that's not bad. Let's let's be a Lich King for next time. That should be fun. Um, along with this, we have uh, Equip Up has already been leveled up a bit for us. Thank you very much, game, for giving us that automatically. There's Defy Death, which is a cool little ability that does let us um, defy uh, a deadly hit. I think I explained that last episode. Um, potion Up. Oh, wait, no, I didn't want to use that. Oh, well, it did unlock part of the board. Crap. Um, spell Thief and Become a Martial Mage. Uh... We could do that. We could upgrade her. our miner, which is a, a pretty crappy class, to be honest. Or increase the damage to our downward strikes. Um, we could, I mean, we could do a, all of these things, really. Let's unlock the spell thief. I like unlocking classes. It's pretty sweet. Unlock another big piece of the, the castle. The spell thief drains mana from the enemies they hit. Sorry again if you guys are hearing my fingers on my mic and my headset. Uh, this grants them access to an infinite supply of mana in the heat of a battle. Rock on. And uh, for those people who like to use spells a lot, they're great. So you can always upgrade your spell thieves into spell swords here and waste all of our money. Let's look at our gear and our runes quick, though. Just real quick here. So we got a blood sword, which is going to do less damage. Uh, it's pretty freaking heavy. Um, 
and it will take away health, but it will give us vampirism. Uh, but it's only vampirism one. I'd rather uh, modify with uh, with uh, runes. I'd rather use runes. And silver chest would be great to have. We just don't have enough weight uh, load. We should probably upgrade that as well. Let's go. Let's do that quick. Let's upgrade our equipment. Uh, so, so let's do that. And I think. I think that should be enough by... Oh, crap. I, I, I took away... Uh, I didn't do math correctly. Um, and I wasn't able... <laughs> so now we won't be able to get that piece of armor. But we can get a cape um, that will give us more critical damage uh, for next time. Or we can... No, stop. Don't do these things. Don't talk to him. He's old. And he's a smithy. Um, okay. Uh, let's get a rune of sorts. The Grace Rune. Slower and easier stuff. Uh, I don't care about that. Did, did, we, did we get anything? Uh, did we get any runes that give us vampirism? No, we haven't yet. So that's actually kind of useless. We don't we don't need any of these runes. Um, Siphon runes okay. If I was playing as something like a spell sword, uh, I would want to use that. Uh, curse rune gives me harder enemies. We don't really want to use that yet, even though that is a great uh, exp buff. Oh shit! What did I just buy? I just bought something. I think I did. I <laughs> where was? Uh, I think I bought more equipment space. Damn it! <laughs> okay, so I guess that's gonna be the end of the episode, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, just my luck. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Uh, be sure to also subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who are already my subscribers, thanks so much for following me and for uh, just watching my journey through games like this, as well as all the other games that I'm playing. Um, I, your loyalty means a lot to me. I love every single one of you, and I, I want you guys to have just the best content available. So um, let me know what you want to see on the channel, and I'll keep... Uh, keep playing your favorite games like this one. Um, anyway, guys, uh, as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. Okay, so I uh, just unlocked a Ready Player one. I, I unlocked an achievement. Whoa! Okay, I said there was no explosions in the game, and then I exploded. Ha <laughs> ha!